When creating pivot tables, which are summary reports, their default view is called compact, and it creates a report with these subtotals at the top. A lot of users don't like this look, and fortunately we can change it. Now you can manually change it every time you create a pivot table by going to the Design tab, and then for Report Layout, showing it in a tabular form. We can even insert blanks after each section here, which gives it a nicer look. But instead of doing that manually every time, we can actually change this in Excel options. Under Data here, we have this Make Changes to the Default Layout of Pivot Tables, and we'll click Edit Default Layout. And this takes us into this window where we can change the subtotal settings. We can do this in a tabular format. We can even insert blank lines. But we can also hit Pivot Table Options. And this will jump us into the Pivot Table Options window, which has over 30 different settings for pivot tables. So if you frequently go into this menu to change some of these options, you can do this here. We'll go ahead and hit OK. We've made some of those changes. Hit OK and then hit OK again. And now, when I insert a new pivot table, I'll just go ahead and insert a new pivot table on a new sheet. When we do that, and we create that same report, this is going to have the layout that we just specified. So instead of that old default layout, we can now specify our defaults, and any new pivot tables we create will be displayed this way. And this can save you a lot of time from clicking through all those settings menus. Like and follow for daily tips.